polling in Ohio, 70% uh, even say that they think there's no problem in you know, presenting a driver's license to the polls and being able to vote that way. If people think it's great, you know, explain why it's not. Fundamental rights are not subject to popularity polls. Your fundamental right to free speech is not subject to whether what you want to say is popular or not. Your right to assembly is a fundamental right. Your right to vote is a fundamental right. And infringements on that right are subject to popularity polls. Um, if we started subjecting our fundamental rights to popularity polls, then uh, God help us. I would say, too, that um, I think when voters want to more, uh, maybe a first flush question, uh, do you support this? They're not really thinking through that uh, there's, uh, there's swaths of the population that have trouble accessing uh, photo ID. And we saw recently in the state of Minnesota, uh, a photo ID was put on the ballot there. I think there was a lot of work done to educate voters about uh, the harmful effects of a photo ID law. And the popular vote in Minnesota was actually to defeat that law. I think once they learned more about it, how it negatively impacted seniors, young people, women, African Americans, uh, voters uh, smartly uh, defeated that proposal at the ballot. Well, can you give a couple examples of how it does negatively impact women, for example, and students? Yes, uh, for students, uh, it, it's off. Well, one of the things we see is uh, a lot of students are, are driving, uh, so they don't have their uh, driver's license yet. Uh, and you have some uh, students who move to Ohio uh, to attend our, our great universities and colleges here and don't have uh, an Ohio-issued uh, driver's license or ID. Uh, they have uh, one from their, their uh, state where they moved from. Uh, you see women have problems uh, with the photo ID requirement because you see um, the elderly population, for example, is uh, more dominated uh, by women. Women have a longer uh, life expectancy. So when you say that this hurts seniors, uh, disproportionately affects women. Uh, women changing their name uh, often will have an ID uh, that doesn't match uh, what may be their registered name. We've been seeing problems with that uh, occurring in Texas uh, with their overly stringent requirement that they adopted. You also, unfortunately, uh, see higher instances of women living in poverty in this country and in this state. Uh, these uh, provisions uh, disproportionately hurt people who are uh, lower income, and unfortunately, the greater number of women uh, living in poverty uh, will be in impacted by these provisions. Ask any nursing home administrator what percentage of the residents of the nursing home have a driver's license or a photo ID for the last two years of my dad's life. But he was in an assisted living facility. He was not able to drive. He had no need for a photo ID. Um, those are the type of people who disenfranchise with this type of uh, legislation. And uh, it's unnecessary and it affects people, as uh, Kathleen said, uh, disproportionately in those categories. And uh, why would we do that? What makes you think photo ID is going to be in your specific or discouraged relationship and why? Well, we have one uh, bill that's been introduced in the House, uh, Representative Becker's uh, bill, and uh, he did a press conference uh, this week on that legislation. Uh, I'm on the uh, Policy and Legislative Oversight Committee in the House, and we've repeatedly heard the chairman uh, refer to uh, a photo ID bill coming. Uh, so we're very concerned about that. Again, we think uh, that we should be implementing legislation that solves real problems and that's done in a bipartisan way. So we'd like to come out ahead of that and lay out uh, our concerns about uh, such a harmful provision. I'm also a member of the Policy and Legislative Oversight Committee. And you'll have to check my memory on this. It would be easy to do. It was either in Indiana or Don or, or both uh, in the recent past, which I developed was quoted as saying that uh, photo ID is something that's come down the pike. Is there a way in your mind that you can do 